using carpet transition strips on top of existing carpet. What's good everybody? It is Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and right now I am cutting a carpet gripper metal and I'm actually going to set it on top of the edge of this existing carpet here. Now you may be thinking why the heck would you be adding a transition metal on top of the edge of the carpet? The reason being that carpet sitting right there is absolutely destroyed. It's delaminated. It's a hot mess. Now if you're a DIY type, you're new to the carpet game, you're wondering what delaminated is. The backing of the carpet, which is like a netting, when that is peeling away from the carpet, that's called delam or delamination. And when that happens, your seams do not hold on this. So the edge of the carpet, I'm actually setting a carpet gripper metal on top of that. And then the new carpet, I'm going to stretch into that and tap that down. Now, the reason I'm going this route is because it's a concrete subfloor there. And with a wood subfloor, we would have several other options. But in this particular case, with a concrete subfloor, this was the best route for us to go to go ahead and secure that, keep that existing old carpet intact, and have the new carpet not be, you know, damaged, fall apart, take away the life expectancy by seaming it to this destroyed old carpet. Just a nice clean transition. I'll tap it down, hold it in place, and we'll be good to go. So now I'm just totally disappeared from the picture there. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Probably on a great search for more nails. And yes, indeed, I went the lazy route. I grabbed a piece of concrete tack strip, and I'm just going to pull the nails out of that bad boy and use that for my gripper metal nails there. So those are actually 11 16 pens, which come standard on concrete tack strip from all the big box stores. And in most cases will work just fine when you hammer it into a concrete subfloor. Now, for some reason you're having trouble getting your metals to stick into the concrete subfloor, you can also buy boxes of five ace nails, which are usually the best scenario to use. But like I said, right now, those 11 16 are working just fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull those from the tech strip rather than grabbing the box. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a little tap, 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 creating my own hole on the metal. The reason I do it like that is because it holds the nail in place for me. And I can just smash it down with the hammer like that. And we're good to go. A lot of guys like to use magnets to go ahead and hold it. And then they smack the magnet with the hammer and get it into place. Me, I just like to start my own and then take it downtown. Worst case scenario. You cannot get your metals to hold into the concrete, glue them into place. You could use AC44, PL400, or even heavy duty liquid nails. All of them are great resources for this. The only downside is you got to let it sit for 24 hours to make sure it cures properly. And that's all I have for you on this. I appreciate you tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.